I am making tea, as you can hear in the background. I want to talk about this book. I just started reading it. It is very good. It's a novel on Zelda Fitzgerald, who was the wife of F. Scott Fitzgerald, who wrote The Side of Paradise and The Great Gatsby, as uh, more people know him by. This is kind of from her perspective, and I think it is a great book so far. And I was in Barnes & Noble yesterday, and saw this on the staff picks shelf right next to all the new books that just came out. So I thought that was a really cool thing that um, it just kind of proves that it's a good book. So I've got that. Lots of journaling to do. I make a lot of notes of like things that I want to remember to write. And then while I was in Barnes & Noble yesterday, I decided to pick this up because it was 20% off plus 10% off extra for members, and I'm a member. It's the 40th anniversary special edition of Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. I love, love, love these books. I don't own any of these books and I just, I love these poems. Everybody who has ever read these probably knows, I mean, you just feel the same way. These are just great classic books and I grew up with them. I just love them. They're so happy. They they make me happy, and I've been slowly collecting books for my future kids since, like, a long time ago, for years now. Having a well-packed library for my kids is very important to me, because growing up, I, my family couldn't afford to buy books a lot. Um, we went to the library. We used, utilized the library a lot. But it's just important to me to be able to have lots of books at my child's disposal or my children's disposal. So, and I just love this graphic. I saw somebody on Instagram actually have this tattoo and I kind of want to get that like smack dab right there on my forearm. I think that'd be really cool. Being really cute. I'm being noisy and so they're waking up. That's Bixby. Bixby. Hi, Bixby. She's like, why did you wake me up? I was sleeping. I baked up cookies yesterday. These are the four remaining. And I made up little snack packs for my brother's friends because he and his three best friends are getting together sometime this weekend. And I thought, um, hey, do you guys want some cookies? Because I love to bake, but I don't necessarily want to have the whole batch to eat myself. My husband and I don't want to do that. We don't ha want to have that much junk food around. And I thought this would be a great way for me to unload all the cookies. So they each get a pack of them. These kids for kids. <laughs> I've known these boys for so long. They've been best friends with my brother since they were in middle school. So I thought that'd be kind of a nice Christmas thing to do. Got my tea going. I am going to have Christmas Downton tea. Kind of want to drink this up while it's still kind of the Christmas season. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are prepping and not getting too stressed out with the holidays and Christmas. I'm going to try to get this vlog up um, pretty soon. Got my bowl of lint chocolate truffles, which are my favorite. And I did a Henry Bendel order because there was a flash sale going on like last Sunday, I think, for all the candles being $15. So I picked up three firewood and one silver birch because that's my favorite candle scent from Henry Bendel. So I thought that was a good deal. So I'm just waiting for my brother. Um, I think he's going to be in here in an hour, so I might make a little breakfast because we're going to be doing lunch. We might do some filming and then lunch at Cafe Benelux and then head over to the Milwaukee Public Museum to see the new old streets of Milwaukee, which I'm super excited about. So I will take you guys along. I'll be vlogging the whole thing. I'm not so shy about vlogging around him because he does YouTube himself, so he kind of understands. So I'm just waiting for my brother. Um, I think he's going to be in here in an hour, so I might make a little breakfast because we're going to be doing lunch. We might do some filming and then lunch at Cafe Benelux and then head over to the Milwaukee Public Museum to see the new old streets of Milwaukee, which I'm super excited about. So I will take you guys along. I'll be vlogging the whole thing. So. Um, change of subject, I am going to be filming my planner setup for the new year for um, this little guy here, my Midori Passport, which I love. 
And hopefully this weekend I'll be able to get a nice pack of colored pencils because I'm excited to start this. Um, for those of you who haven't watched my previous vlog, a really good friend, uh, Melissa, got this for me. She sent me a really nice kind of housewarming birthday slash uh, Christmas package. My birthday's not until January, but she said it was like part of that. So that was really generous of her and I thought that was really cool. So hey Melissa, thanks uh, if you're watching. I'm just really excited to start this because um, it's kind of got like the original here and then you can actually do the coloring on the other side so I thought that was really cool. I've not seen a coloring book that has that so oh this one's pretty. That's really cool. I'm gonna look for some pencils. Faber Castell makes really good colored pencils so I might get a set of those because I have a coupon for Joann's for that. And I never got a chance to paint my nails so I'm going bare like natural nails today. But I think I'm going to do this one later today, which is, I saw it in television, and then for Christmas week, I'm going to do this one, I'm sure I've showed these in a vlog before, Red Fingers and Mistletoes. So those will be my two festive colors for this week. Daryl Dixon and Michonne and Doramon are doing well, and oh my gosh. Starbuck and Boomer, who are the daughters of Bixby, who is the brown one, they are so skittish. Every time they see you coming, they just run for the other side. But Bixby just doesn't care. Bixby is always wondering if you've got treats. That's Boomer. Boomer's the white one, and then Starbuck's the blonde one. In case you aren't, uh, if you don't know, those are... Bixby and Starbuck are named after two characters from Battlestar Galactica, so yes, I, I love Battlestar Galactica. Before I forget, I wanted to show you um, some more Christmas Advent gifts that my husband got me. So I think the last one that I stopped at was the Feed um, uh, Tea Towel. Um, I can't remember the order, so I'm going to try my best, but he got me the... Besame lipstick and matchbook set. So that is actually individual matchsticks with lipstick on it, and then it comes with like this 1946 vintage red color. And that is what it looks like. It is beautiful packaging. I'd mentioned that this was a really cool concept, like the matchbooks. So that was an advent gift. And I got a Crabtree and Evelyn rose water hand therapy, one of my favorite hand creams. I got this, which is a number 12 Traveler's Notebook insert. So I believe this is like the sketch paper because it's thicker paper and it's 48 pages and then it's perforated too. So I thought that was really cool. I didn't know that one existed. So that was awesome. And then I got this little guy. He's like a little mouse with a scarf and a little hat with a dingle ball on it. I have like this little collection of uh, felted animals now because these I got at Crate and Barrel a couple years ago because they reminded me of the bears from the Muppets. If you guys are Muppets fans, you guys know which one this one looks like. He's the big bumbling bear. Um, and then this one, uh, Brian got me one Christmas from my local, uh, my favorite local soap shop. And it's just a bunny with a scarf on it. So that's my little collection of felted animal ornaments. Oh, and then today was this little bunny. Super cute. I collect the jelly cat ones um, because obviously I'm obsessed with bunnies. And the candy stripe one was um, kind of like the holiday one. So, oh my god, so cute. So that's what I got as my advent today. Hi guys! I'm bundled up. It is 
so cold outside, and I am in the car with my brother. Say hello. hello. We're taking the ramp over to the museum. One half mile. We just got done having our late brunch at Cafe Benelux. That was uh, very tasty. Um, I think with the previous footage, you would have seen what we've eaten. And oh, you're supposed to get off on that ramp. I couldn't get. Oh. Because of the change of the interchange. Oh, that's right. They've changed so much. Oh, the lights show up white on the camera. Look at that. Hmm. Colorblind. <laughs> My camera's colorblind. <laughs> oh, that kind of sucks. This is always really cool, like how they do a lot of lights on a wheel. Yeah, I know. Here we are at the museum, and they always do the lights on the big whale. You want to say hi? Hi there. This is our childhood museum. Should we go? Wait. Oh, that's not even the exit in, or the entrance anymore. Oh, no. It's Whoa. Just oh my god, so many changes. I don't think I can handle this. You ready? Yeah. Let's go in. It's like we're moving. Do, do your feet reach it? I'm filming right now. <laughs> Smile in an old timey way. Come on. Wait, do that again. Hello. Hello. Hey there. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> that is the creepiest thing ever. You look up on the second story of one of these diorama houses, and there's two little fake children staring down at you. Dead eyes. I swear, those things come alive at night. And you're watching a poor guy begging for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is way creepy. some groceries because we decided to do chocolate fondue for dessert tonight which I've been looking forward to for a long time because I've wanted to do fondue for the longest time I've been talking about it for years and finally I'm like let's do it but Brian wanted pizza for dinner so he is actually picking up pizza from Pizza Man right now and we just got back from or I just got back from getting some groceries down the street so I got the Ghirardelli chocolate was on sale, so I got two milk chocolate and one semi-sweet. I'm not using all of this for the fondue, but uh, it's good to have just for baking because I plan on doing some baking uh, later this week and maybe sometime next week. Um, my husband wanted wine, so we got that. So I thought salty sweet, we would do pretzel flats for that. This is half and half for the fondue. Rice Krispies treats that we're going to cut up for that. And we've got Pizzelli's, the Amaretto one, so we got those to dip. And then I've got some apples that I'm going to cut up for that. And since we were at the store, pick up Jacob's Cream Crackers because those are lovely. And this is awesome. My mother in law had this fondue set that she said she's not used in years and she had asked my husband you know what are you guys doing for dinner because he was over there today while I was hanging out with my brother 
and Brian's like, well, Anna wants to do fondue, and she's like, do you want to take my fondue set? Awesome. It's like way vintage. Look at the wood <laughs> stand on it. It's got the little you know, lid with the thing that you put the fuel in, and these super vintage um, little skewers. I love it. I love that it's just old. <laughs> so that kind of works out that we got like a, an authentic fondue set. And, surprise, I actually got my last Ipsy bag. I thought the previous month was going to be my last one, but I think when Brian had subscribed, he subscribed in November, but December was my first bag. Or I, I got the November one and the December one, but this one counted as my last one. I don't know. However they did it, this happens to be my last one because I had told them to cancel because we were moving. So I ended up getting a beauty blender which I once had one, but I didn't know how to use it properly, so now that I've got this one, I might give it a try, because I've seen a lot of people really li like using them. I got this Lather Honey Moisture Mask, a Think Me, Think Me Later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott, and then a Mini Formula X nail polish in this bronzy rose gold color which I think is very pretty and then this is the best part it's a Pacifica lipstick and I've not tried their lipsticks before and let's see if I can get this in, out of the packaging it's called Tender Heart and it actually looks like the shade of Tender Heart by Clinique that was my absolute favorite brown nude lipstick and it looks like that shade that's what it looks like right there so I'm going to give that a try tomorrow. And I love that it's Pacifica, so if it actually works out, that would be my natural alternative to the Clinique one that I love. Funny that it's actually named Tender Heart. So, that was a lovely surprise. I didn't know that that was coming at all. I thought I'd cancel that and that was done. So I'm going to sign off with you guys here. I know I haven't really done that in my previous vlogs, but um, still kind of getting into the groove of things. So, I hope you guys are having a good night. I hope you guys are doing well and you're enjoying the vlog so far and having just a fun time during the Christmas season because I am thoroughly enjoying the festivities. So, good night guys.